Thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Are you looking for a reliable and affordable VPS hosting? Hostinger offers an exclusive Black Friday deal on their VPS subscription plan. You can get a 12 month VPS hosting plan for just $6.99 per month, which is a whopping 63% discount. But wait, there is more. You can also use my code, which is code with Ari, to get 10% discount on top of the discount that Hostinger offers. Don't miss out on this amazing offer and take your website to the next level with Hostinger's powerful VPS hosting. What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to the second video of my Laravel LiveWire video series where we will explore one of the most important LiveWire tools which is components. In the last episode, I mentioned components a couple times. If you are a pure backend developer and have never worked with any other JavaScript framework, I got some explaining to do. Components in LiveWire are essentially reusable UI elements that encapsulate logic and presentation. They allow you to break down your user interface into smaller, self-contained units, making your code more organized and maintainable. One of the main reasons why we use components is to enhance the interactivity and responsiveness of our web application. By encapsulating both from the server-side logic and the front-end markup, LiveWire components provide a seamless and efficient development experience. React and Vue, or pretty much any other front-end framework, uses the term components. The main difference between components in LiveWire and components in React or Vue is the underlying technology. LiveWire is a server-side framework, which means that the components are rendered on the server and sent to the client as HTML, while React and Vue are client-side frameworks, where the components are rendered on the client's browser using JavaScript. While React and Vue components provide a more dynamic and interactive user experience, LiveWire components offer the advantage of easy integration with Laravel server-side functionality. Now components needs to be created through the CLI. So let's navigate to it for a moment. And let's actually run the PHP artisan command before we create a component. And if we scroll up a little bit to the section where all the LiveWire commands are, right here, you will see that there is one command named a LiveWire make, which is to create a new LiveWire component. So let's perform it. Uh, let's say php artisan a livewire colon make, and then you need to define the name of your livewire component. Now livewire recommends two naming conventions. The first naming convention for livewire components is to use Pascal case, where each word is capitalized and there are no spaces or special characters. So if you want to create a livewire component for a task create, you can name it task create. The second naming convention is to use kebab case, where you name it with dashes. So let's say task dash create. Now, since pretty much all classes and files in Laravel are built using Pascal case, I recommend using Pascal case for your live array components as well. So let's say that our component will be named task create. Now, once we hit enter, you'll see that Artisan has prompted us with a message saying that two files have been created for us right here. Now, like we have briefly discussed in the first chapter, it has created a component class for us inside the app backslash livewire namespace named task create. And it has also created a view inside the resource directory, views directory, a new directory named livewire, where it has created a blade template named task dash create. So let's start inside our component class. Let's navigate back to PHP Storm where you will find our LiveWire directory inside our app directory with our task create file. Right here, you will see that our class is extending the component class. And the component class in LiveWire is used as the base class for creating LiveWire components. It provides various methods and properties that allow you to define the behavior and presentation of your LiveWire component. We will cover these along the way. There's no need to open the component class and cover them individually. By extending the component class, you can add custom logic as well, handle user interaction, and render the components view. By default, LiveWire provides one method out of the box inside the components class, and that's the render method. The render method in LiveWire is a built-in method provided by the component class. As the name implies, it is responsible for rendering the LiveWire component view, which it has already set for you because it's the LiveWire subdirectory inside the views directory, where it has created a task that creates.blade.php file. Now let's open our view actually. Rest scroll down. 
live via directory task that's create that dot blade dot php. Right here, you will see that it has added a simple div with a comment inside of it. Nothing special. Now, if we replace our comment right here with let's say a string of task create, navigate to the browser, change your endpoint to task dash create, you will see that we got prompted with a 404, meaning that the page does not exist. And that is right, because LifeWire does not magically register the route. Before we register the route, I quickly want to make a small adjustment to our project. Right now, we got a simple project with just one model, right? The task, which works with the task functionalities. What I recommend doing, what I recommend doing is adding the components class as well as the view in a subdirectory named task. We don't need to do this manually because Artisan can help us a bit. So let's navigate to PHPStorm for a moment. Let's delete the LifeWire directory. And let's also delete the task create component class. Let's navigate back to iTerm, perform a clear, hit the arrow up to create our task create component. But this time I'm going right in front of the class name, add the keyword of tasks and the dot notation, which will tell Artisan that a subdirectory named tasks need to be created. If we hit enter, you'll see that right inside of the output, it has created a task subdirectory for the component class and also for the view. Now let's talk about routing. Let's think about it for a moment. We have created a view named task create. This isn't a small component that you will use on multiple places on different pages. What we have created right here and well, the view as well, let's scroll down right here it's called a full page component these can be used to build standalone pages with logic and views and these needs to be registered inside the routes directory web.php file now let me get rid of the comments right here later on we will create a component which will be a pop-up message whenever a task has been created these components do not need to be registered as a route because it isn't a full page component it's simply a component which will be called once an action has been performed. So inside our web.php file, we need to register a route, pretty much in the same way as you register a route from a Laravel controller. But instead of importing the controller class, we're simply going to import the LifeWire component class. So let's say route colon colon get. The endpoint will be tasks create. Then we're going to add a second parameter which is the task create LifeWire component class and the class itself. And let's replace it with an import. All right, this looks a little bit cleaner. Now let's navigate to the browser. Let's change our endpoint to tasks forward slash create. And right here, you will see that we have been prompted with another error message. Well, this one was actually on purpose. It's telling us that the layout view has not been found inside the components, layouts, and app directory, where your app.blade.php file needs to be shown. Now, what is going wrong right here? Well, full page components will use a default application layout. And by default, let's navigate back to PHPStorm, open our LiveWire configuration file. And where is it? So let me scroll up a little bit right here. In the layout, you will see that it has been set to components, a layout, app. But in our application, let's scroll down a little bit. We haven't stored it inside a components directory. So we could remove that from our route. So let's remove components and just use layouts.app. Navigate back to Google Chrome and refresh it, where you will see that the error is gone, but the task create string is not visible yet. So let's fix that. Let's navigate back to PHPStorm and open the app.blade.php file. And right here, you will see that we're yielding content, but this only works in Blade and not in LifeWire. In LifeWire, you need to ensure that you have created a Blade file at this location and include a slot placeholder. Slot is a special variable that is used to define the content that should be rendered inside a component's layout. It acts as a placeholder for dynamic content that can be customized for each specific instance of the component. If we navigate back to the browser for a moment and refresh it, 
you'll see that it is still not printed out and that's because we haven't created the text here so let's say task create navigate back and refresh it you will see that task create has been printed out now there's still a small issue right here with the slot variable because the slot variable right here only works with livewire and since we're trying to access our layout for both blade and livewire we need to perform a check to only show the slot when the slot is defined. So the way we could do that is basically getting rid of it, adding the at is set directive, where we're gonna check if slot has been set. If slot has been set, we're simply gonna print out slot and we're gonna close it off with an end is set. If we navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, you'll see that task create has still been printed out. And that's because our slot has been defined. Now, this looks awesome, and I hope that it's starting to click. Now, let me show you a little bit more component configuration. Now, let's open our LifeWire configuration file, and let's add components right in front of the layout again for a moment, which should throw an error inside the browser. All right, but the issue with this, now, the issue right here is that layout will change it for all of your views, and maybe you don't need that and you simply need to add the app.blade.php layout for one specific view. LifeWire allows you to register different layouts for every single component. Let's open our component for a moment. So our task create component, all right. And right above the render method, we can add the hashtag brackets and add layout inside our brackets. And don't forget to import LifeWire attributes which is called whenever you want to load a custom layout. So inside the layout method, you simply need to pass in a string where you can add the relative path view to your custom layout. So let's say layouts.app. Now let's navigate to the browser for a moment, refresh it, and you'll see that our custom layout is visible again. Now let's actually navigate back to iTerm for a moment and create a second component. So let's say PHP artisan, LifeWire colon make tasks dot task index. All right, navigate back to PHP Storm. Let's first register the route right above the create route. So route colon colon get. It is for tasks. We're gonna use the task index class component. Now let me actually replace it with a qualified import. All right scroll down and open our task index, replace our comment with task index, navigate to the browser, change our endpoint to just tasks, and you will see that we have been prompted with an error because the view that we're trying to render does not exist. And this is happening because inside our task create component, where is it again? Well, let me scroll up. We specifically said that this class should only use a different layout. Now there's even another method of changing the layout and that's using the fluent syntax. Let's get rid of our attribute right here and right after the view method, you can change the layout method. And right here, you can pass in the same layout. So let's say layouts.app. If we navigate to the browser, refresh our task create endpoint, you will see that this page is visible again. For now, I want to remove the layout method that we have changed right here. And I want to change the layout inside my LifeWire configuration file where I want to remove the components. Now, since we're using the layout of the app.blade.php file, let's open it for a moment again, right here, scroll up. You'll see that right here, we have set the title of the page to hosting our LifeWire. Now this static piece of text right here works on localhost, but do you actually want to show this on all the pages that you have? Technically no, because the title says a lot to your page visitors. LifeWire allows you to assign unique page titles to each page in your application using the same two methods that I have showed you as setting the layout of your component. Let's start inside our task index first, right here. Quick note, we just added it right above the render method but you can also add it right above the class declaration, right here. One method is not faster than the other, so just choose a method that you prefer. So let's say hashtag brackets title, 
and the title will be Tasks Hostinger LifeWire. Now behind the scenes, LifeWire will create a new variable named title that you can use inside the layout that you have defined. So let's define it inside our layout first. So let's get rid of hosting our LifeWire, add curly braces, and we're gonna print out the title, but if the title has not been set, we're still gonna print out hosting our LifeWire. If we navigate back to the browser and refresh our task endpoint, that went wrong, you'll see that the title has been changed to task dash hosting or life wire. The second option is the one that I want to show you on my task create is simply chaining the title method to the view method where the title will be set to create task hosting or life wire. If we navigate to the browser, change our endpoints to task backslash create, you will see that a title has been created named create task dash hosting your life wire. Now I want to stick to one method. So let's navigate back to PHP storm. And I personally prefer chaining the title method. So let's open the task index, get rid of our title attribute. Now let's chain the title method to the view method of tasks hosting our life wire. Now I want to wrap up this video where we talked about LifeWire components, we defined routes, we used existing layouts, we talked about slots and titles. In the next video, I want to take components a step further by defining properties and using them to share data with views, wiring and binding. If you do like my content and you want to see more, please hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.